Hey, hey everyone, Kenny Tony coming out to today. We got another video for you. So I think that I figured out the issue to some of my audio that I've been having in my videos. So hopefully that is done and that's complete and we don't have to worry about that again. What it is, is I've been plugging in sometimes my mic into the wrong port and basically it sounds like my speaker's blown. But as you see, we've got a couple of the toys sitting here behind us, but what we're gonna be working on today is the Raptor 250 Project. As you see, we have a tire off right here. It's up there in the building and the tire changing tool was sitting in there. So let's get to it. So for those of you who do not know, the Raptor 250 came to me as a project that is going to take a lot more than what I originally thought that it was going to. So we thought that it was gonna need carbs cleaned and had some electric issues, which is what the prior owner had stated to us. However, once we got to digging into it, Spark and everything was fine, that's a go. Would not fire with no gas. Done a compression test, didn't have any compression. Took the head off, have a bent valve in there, which is gonna be coming in the mail, an OEM one, as well as the piston didn't move because the crank, the piston had broke, come loose, so then I had to split the cases, but yada, yada, yada. We have all that back together and it's installed in the machine. What I'm working on today is I have a tire here that has a some plugs in it. So I've been working on trying to get that those plugs taken out and put the patch on it and it's not working so well. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around, let you see what I'm working with and let you all see, know what I'm gonna be doing. All right, quad balls tire right here. I've been dealing with it. The plugs were in here and you know, I took them out, took the tire off, had it a patch on the back and it still leaked a little bit. So what I decided to do was run out to Tractor Supply and then grab a tube, a heavy duty tube. And we're gonna get that installed in there and get that switched out real quick and see how that's gonna go for us. So basically I've already stated I do love this tool. So it's gonna be not too big of a problem getting the tire dismounted. So our patch was down in there, it did come off. And I'm just gonna put another one right on here. And the reason being is because even though the tube is going to be in there, I wanna give a little extra sidewall protection. So, all right, so I'm gonna put that patch in there on the hole. and it's right on top of the hole right now. And what's gonna happen is, it's just gonna sit there and let it dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna run in the house, grab some baby powder, so it helps that tire move around in there and not grip, with that uh, tube move around in there, and then we'll cut it back on. All right, so we're back. It's been about five minutes, and I just went ahead, took my pliers, and cut off the old valve stem. So, have this piece out here. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, put this in here on the one side, a little higher up, so the valve stem will come through. So if you're gonna learn a lesson, learn this one, guys. 
don't speak about how you're going to correct your microphone issues and then do not change your batteries so halfway through this my batteries decided to go dead so now I'm just doing a voiceover to see if we can kind of sync up the same information so the importance right here is to make sure that you install the tube in a direction that gets the valve stem where it should be so basically I'm just stuffing a little bit around the corners and making sure I can line my valve stem up and it can come up through here and be where it should be. Now another thing to know is that tube valve stems are a little bit different than the standard valve stems that you can buy from the store. The standard ones are rubber and you kind of pull and pop those into place while tube valve stems go in there and they have two locking securing nuts to hold them in place. So we have to make sure we at least get one of those on there because what you can run into is it moving while you're inflating the tube. So that's what we want to stay exactly where it is, is the valve stem. Second is, you can see that I'm using a washcloth right here to help go around my rim so that I can try not to scratch it up. Overall, this Harbor Freight tool works amazing, but it can scratch your wheels up if you're not careful. So the washcloth did help us out and I turned around and had very minimal scratching on the rim. Also, I went ahead and I installed the second locking nut, so that's working well. And now it's just time to inflate it. So we're gonna fill it up with air. One of the things you need to just make sure you do is go ahead and put you some lubrication, some kind of liquid around the outside so it helps seat the rim better. And understand that you are going to be pushing air from between the rim and from between the tube out so it's going to look like it's leaking so to the normal eye if this didn't have a tube in it the bubbles that you're going to see coming up are going to be a sign that you have dirt around your rim or it's not seating correctly however this is not the case when you're using a tube Now it's time to get the ratchet out and I think I used a 12 millimeter and go ahead and put that second locking nut onto the valve stem and get it seated. Now the valve stem for tubes are a little longer than normal. They're probably about an inch of threads. So it takes a little bit of time to get it all the way down there and you want to make sure you secure the valve itself because if you go spinning it while the tube is inflated you can tear it off and then you're from you from ground zero you're starting all over again and then you got to go out and buy you another tube so be careful with that and we can keep moving along with this so now let's go ahead and get that cap on there and give this a quick inspection so upon looking around, I did see that my rim on the back side was not completely seated. So we're going to go ahead and pump a little bit more air into there. And with doing that, it's going to seat the bead on the opposite side. And we can let the air back out to make sure, you know, the tires are going to be even. So I think we've officially put a patch on the inside of this tire as well as a tube and locked everything down as it should. I think it's time we should just go ahead and roll this outside and get this on the machine. All right, so this is the face of excitement. I have no idea what I'm saying here, but I'm definitely happy about it. So we're down here, we're looking at the wheel, and I just wanna show the little scuff marks that were created from the tool. So at about the 12 o'clock mark, that was one that was from the tool, but the one that's closer to the nine o'clock mark was already there. So we're taking a look around, and I stated that while we're here, I did go ahead and change that bushing today. So there's no play there and we went ahead and just grease these front A-arms. All right, everyone, thank you for checking out this video. 
yeah the beard and stuff looks a little bit different so this recording is actually done a little bit later on from the video after i'm in here trying to edit all the footage i figured out that my microphone messed up and my closing statements i have no idea what they were actually going to be so basically we have the tube switched out so this change and this fix to the tire basically cost thirty dollars and that was the price twenty five dollars or something was the price of that tube from tractor supply so we got it installed and as always i really love that harbor freight tire changing tool it worked amazing and it did what it was supposed to do so we have all that done still waiting to hear from partzilla i'm not too excited about that you know it's in stock you order it it's not in stock it's supposed to be in stock in two days two days you don't hear nothing on the third day you look again and it's still out of stock so that's about it thank you for checking out this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and as we get the parts for this raptor 250 we're gonna document the footage and send it out to you all